Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'm here with Zotac at the Consumer Electronics Show in January 2017, taking a look at their line of small form factor desktop computers, all with Intel Kaby Lake processors. So a lot of these might look familiar if you've seen some of their other models in the last couple of years, but the difference is that they're upgraded to the, uh, the latest processors from Intel. So we've got a couple of different series here. We have these, which are a little bit larger and have more room for ports. This is the MI series, so we've got the MI572 with a Core i7-7700T processor, or a Core i5-7200U for the 548 series, or a Core i3-7100. And they have similar ports on all of them, but the difference is going to be in terms of sort of the performance and power levels. So we've got USB 3.1, SD card slots, audio jacks here, and if you look at the other side, Display port, Ethernet, USB, Ethernet. So we've got dual Ethernets, HDMI, and USB. So that's sort of what you get in this size. Relatively small for a desktop computer, but actually kind of big for one of Zotac's mini PCs. Because if we look at some of the even smaller ones, we've got things like this MI4547 Nano, which has a Core i7 or Core i5-7200U processor, um, room for two sticks of memory, 2.5-inch hard drive, USB 3.1 gigabit Ethernet, HDMI, and DisplayPort. So let's if we take a look at this one. You can see, hopefully I'm not going to break it here while I pick it up. You can see that it is uh, very small, fits easily in one hand, very lightweight too. We've got USB 3.1 ports, Type-C on the front, a USB 3.0, separate mic and headphone jacks, SD card slot power. Uh, this model does have a fan, but it's got a lot of ventilation, and uh, they tell me the fan's pretty quiet, but this unit's not turning on right now. Uh, several more USB ports, including USB 2.0 and 3.0. HDMI, DisplayPort, and Ethernet on the back, and uh, that's sort of the MI Nano series. We've also got a model with a Core i3 processor and a model, another model with a Core i3 processor. Actually, those are pretty much the same uh, sign for two different ones. If we move over here, we've got a couple of models that are a little bit larger, but they're completely fanless, and so you can see there's much more ventilation in the case on this CI series Nano. So what we've got in this particular model is a similar layout, in terms of the ports on the front, similar in terms of the ports on the back, but the main difference is it's a little bit larger because it's passively cooled, even though it has a 15 watt KB Lake U series processor. So this is the 547 Nano with a Core i5-7200U processor, uh, support for DDR4 RAM, 2.5 inch drive bay inside and so on. If we move over to the Magnus line, this is actually a model that was uh, released last year with a Core i5-6400T processor and NVIDIA GTX 1070 graphics. There's also a um, Magnus EN1060. There is a brand new model though, which is the EN1070K, which has a KB Lake processor, Core i5-7500T, and GTX 1070 graphics. So it's a little bit larger, a little bit more powerful, actually a lot more powerful, and uh, there's also going to be a, a version with NVIDIA 1060 graphics, uh, which is going to be a little bit cheaper and a little bit less capable. But if you want sort of the, the cream of the crop, we've also got this anniversary edition EN 1080. It's got a water-cooled system. It's still relatively small, but much bigger than the other models in the series because of that water cooling. And that's because it has the NVIDIA uh, GTX 1080 graphics, a high-performance graphics processor. Uh, it's got Core i7-6700 uh, Intel processor. And on the back here, you can see we've got a lot of options for connecting multiple displays, USB accessories, dual Ethernet, and so on. Now, if you don't want to necessarily go with one of these high power machines because you don't necessarily need the discrete graphics all the time, um, and I realize I haven't looked at the back of this one, so let's take a quick look there and you can see some of the port options. But if you don't need all of those features all of the time, there is another option, which is that you can get something like this external graphics dock. So it's, uh, this is a prototype. It's going to be available, uh, expected to be available by the end of the first quarter of 2017, so by the end of March. Um, and this prototype, you can still sort of see the paint drying, but the basic design is uh, we've got a lot of ventilation here. We've got room for full-size graphics cards, and you can put a graphics card of your choice here, PCIe. Uh, graphics for NVIDIA or AMD or what have you. So if we look at sort of some of the specifications here, um, has a 400 watt power supply, USB 3.0, PCIe 
X16 slot Thunderbolt 3 connector. So any device that has a Thunderbolt 3 USB Type-C connector should be able to work with the graphics dock. And that even includes something like this fanless CI549 Nano. So this is a completely fanless 15 watt or a computer with a 15 watt processor, the Core i5-7300U. Two gigs uh, or two RAM uh, sodium slots, up to 32 gigabytes of memory. Can take a 2.5 inch hard drive or solid state drive, and uh, has 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, dual gigabit Ethernet, HDMI, DisplayPort, and that all important USB Type C Thunderbolt 3 port, which allows you to connect an external graphics docking solution like this Zotac external graphics dock. Now on uh, pretty much all of these devices, they should be available in the first quarter of 2017. Zotac's not announcing the pricing for any of them uh, just yet, which is pretty much par for the course with their devices. But they'll probably be available from a number of retailers relatively soon, and uh, we'll be able to get the pricing once that happens. And uh, some, of the, some of the models will be available within the next couple of weeks. I'm shooting this on January 4th, 2017, and shortly after that you'll start to see some of these KB Lake uh, mini PCs hit the streets. Some of them we're going to have to wait a little bit longer for, but they should all be available by the end of March. So this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and a look at Zotac's line of mini PCs for 2017, uh, many of which have KB Lake processors, some of which are for gaming, some of which are for media, some of which are for maybe industrial applications, uh, whereas a lot of mini PCs I think really are designed for things like point of sales or digital signage. I think. Uh, Zotac has done a pretty good job of positioning theirs as multi-purpose devices that you could use in the home, at work, all sorts of different places, and uh, some of them are uh, very quiet or even silent because of their fanless designs. Uh, one thing that I should point out before we stop is that in previous years we've seen things like this very tiny PI330 with an Intel Atom processor, which is driving this large screen display. That's something that Zotac is not releasing any new models of at the moment. There's no PC sticks, no Intel compute stick style computers, and no uh, uh, PI series nano machines. And that's at least partly because Intel has discontinued its Atom chips uh, or a discontinued development. There are no new Atom chips, so last year's models with the Intel Atom Cherry Trail processors are. Um, there's not much Zotac could have done to improve upon them. So they're going to continue selling those, but they're not really showing off many of them here. Instead, we're looking at the new models with the higher-powered Intel KB Lake processors. So, again, Brad Linder, Lilliputing, Zotac's CES 2017 line of mini PCs.